take on test series from Baiju's. You should at least uh, try to complete the previous year questions twice. So between 9.30 to 12.30, my brain thinks I need to give the test. Make my brain habituated to the situation. That's, that's the mantra. Hello students, welcome to Baiju's Exam Prep Spotlight, a show where we bring our toppers into the spotlight and listen to their journey. The journey of hard work, the journey of all the pain that they have taken to get up to this level. And yes, today I have a very special guest with me, All India Rank 5 Computer Science Dhruv. Welcome Dhruv to the Baiju's Exam Prep Spotlight and heartiest congratulations Thank from the entire team of Baiju's Exam Prep for this tremendous success. Thank so, you, uh, sir. Thank you. So, Dhruv, let us get started with this talk. And first of all, I want to tell you about your experience. Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? And how many marks you have achieved in the exam, etc. Et uh, hello, friends. Uh, I am Dhruv Kathrotia and I am 23 years old. Uh, I actually live in Rajkot, Gujarat. And I uh, completed my graduation from Dharamsi Desai Institute of Technology, Nadiad. And uh, I prepared for GATE after that for a year and I scored 87.67 in my GATE and uh, I secured All India Rank 5 and so yeah that's me, that's that's what sums me up. Alright great, so 87.67 right? Yes sir. So, so you know getting 87.67 out of 100 requires a lot of planned uh, preparation. So yeah. let us talk about your journey. Let us talk about your planning. Uh, so you know you have seen gate very closely. I can say because fifth rank means you have gone to yes. depth of every subject. Yes. Must have covered every every subject. So yeah. uh, you know when you are taking up any subject, say operating systems or database, whatever any subject. So what is your fundamental approach? Whether you focus more on the conceptual part or the formula part or the question part. Uh, uh, I would like to say that uh, the first thing that I would uh, do is. Uh, clear all my concepts uh, because that is the basic thing that you need to do. Uh, without clearing your concepts, I don't think uh, any exam can be cracked. So first thing you should be doing is uh, clearing all the basic concepts uh, that uh, that are in, uh, in that subject. So after that, what you need to do is practice a lot of questions, uh, a lot, lot questions on that, uh, as many as possible till the exam arrives. So yeah, I would say that's that's the mantra and like at the end with parallel, uh, pr uh, we're practicing the questions parallelly, you can uh, revise your concepts with, with that also. Right. So, your first focus is on concepts, but, yes, but summarizing the uh, gate mein around 10 subjects, 11 subjects hota hai in every branch. Yes. So, uh, you know, we have lots of contents, lots of books. So, you have read it once, what is your approach? Hota do you make short notes out of it? Uh, for revision or do you maintain your full notes only? Uh, yeah, first uh, first I used to make uh, notes, uh, the classroom notes and, and the notes that are uh, that are from some standard books, the concepts that you think are not, uh, you haven't touched it uh, properly, then you can refer some standard books from uh, for that concept. So that you can take and make some notes for yourself and after that at the end when you think you have prepared all your notes you have revised all your notes then you can make some short notes based on that uh, and that i would say that def depends on the person uh, that uh, depends on person to person that what type of short notes they want to prepare uh, i would say focus on the subjects that you are weak on and try to uh, short short uh, in short notes try to include those concepts that you tend to forget very easily or and which are important also correct so yeah great to know that uh, so you had some sort of planning with respect to short notes as well yeah. now coming as you mentioned mantra me ki practice 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 is the key yeah. so ye jo apne practice pe focus kiya to aap ye bataiye students ko ki practice aapne exactly kiya kaise kyunki you know is rank tak aane ke liye jaise is bar computer science ka paper relatively thoda easy tha yeah, tough I bhi ho jata hai at times right yeah. you, aapko exam ke pehle nahi pata tha ki paper easy aayega tough aayega yeah. but you must have prepared for all variety right yes, to yes. aapne kahan se practice kiya so that you know aapka easy question difficult question har cheez pe command ho jaye to okay uh, uh, i would say uh, take a lot of test series uh, i would uh, uh, I, 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 i have taken test series from uh, uh, from byju's and uh, from i would uh, all referred to many courses online courses from byju's uh, i also taken some test series from other institutes also and so i would say that uh, take as many test series as possible and uh, 
try to uh, maximize your uh, uh, your uh, widen your area of uh, practicing the questions is and uh, that uh, that 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 and that practice should go on until the end. Uh, it should not be uh, like that. That uh, when whenever you come up with some questions that are very difficult, and you tr uh, you tend to give up. So that is basically uh, going on until the end. That also is very important thing during this journey. Correct. Yeah, going on up to the end. Consistency. Yeah. You know, yeah because there are several students who starting are enthusiastic, hote, but they are yeah. enthusiastic fall. Or there is a set of students who are enthusiastic more at the end. But and last two months, maybe you will not do much. Yeah. So in the test series, you have given a lot of emphasis. So I want to know that how many mock tests approximately you have given. Uh, I would say uh, counting all uh, the the full syllabus tests and all the half syllabus tests and all that i would say i would have given around some 140 tests oh so. that, that that's a really good number almost like 150, 150. tests yeah yes. almost 150 so uh yeah big fundamental question i made because students so it's taking test series come up with the last two months uh, uh last two months but definitely mock test ka time hota hai, but you have had subject wise test with the yes right so yes. what, what is the right time to start test series according to you uh i would say uh Prepare your notes within first uh, seven to eight months. After that, uh, you try to f focus on your test series. So last two, three months, uh, I would say you spend your last two, three months on your test series. All right. Yeah. Chalo, great. So that is what you know. No, don't only rely on the last uh, 20, 30 days. Uh, you know, yeah, because uh, I, 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 I uh, without uh, revising, uh, without clearing your concepts, uh, I, you are going to make mistakes in the test series. Correct. Yeah. And then that, that and might be a yeah. factor of motivation. Yeah. yeah. Chale, great. So, uh, practice may have a test series to both help. Liya. Uh, previous year questions ke baare mein aapka kya opinion hai matlab how important they are see we all know at the end of the day questions repeat to nahi hone wale because it's a paper made by yeah. isc and iits yeah. but still why previous year questions are important okay uh, actually i would say that for uh, practicing practicing the previous year questions uh, it is uh, not for the sake of that it will come again in the examination it is for uh, making your brain used to such type of questions, I would say. So, uh, even when the questions are somewhat different types, uh, somewhat from uh, somewhat different from the question that you encountered, your brain is going to generate those answers for yourself. So, I would say it is uh, uh, making your brain, uh, brain habitual for such type of questions. Okay, great. So, that is what, you know, you have, you get an analysis ki IITs yeah. kahan tak leke gaya hai bachcho ko? Yeah. Uh, although the same question will not be repeated, but you get a clear cut idea ki what yes. is the level going yeah. on, and usse milte julte kuch questions kabhi yeah. aaye, you are able to handle yeah. them. And I would I would want to add one thing that yeah uh, you should at least uh, try to complete the previous questions twice at least I would say Correct. so yes. twice is uh, the basic level I would say Correct. that's that's as far uh, uh, if you want a good rank then twice is uh, twice sh it should yeah, be because because a simple sa funda I maybe believe karta hoon, you know going into the exam and if you have full confidence on previous year questions ठीक है वो 20 साल के question जो same bodies ने बनाया है if you're confident fully confident on them then you'll be confident on next year as well yeah. because you know yahan pe ek aur question link karte hain iske sath ki you know jab aap exam dene ja rahe the 4th february 2023 jab computer science yeah. ka exam tha to us din dhruv kaisa feel kar rahe the matlab just one hour maybe before the exam what was uh, 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 actually I, I i i wanted to completely uh, 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 finish uh, the remove the anxiety part uh, from myself uh, from my uh, from my body, uh, from my uh, routine so uh, what i preferred was uh, before two months I started giving test series so I used to give a test every day uh, a full syllabus test every day so I wanted my brain to be habituated to the situation so between 9 30 to 12 30 my brain thinks I need to give the test for every day for last two months I tried to uh, make my brain habituated to the situation so I would say uh, that removes the anxiety part that Correct. you have so yeah, that, that's really great to know that. You know, anxious nahi hona hai, because end ka jo game hai na, nervousness, yeah. panic, sab spoil kar sakta hai. Yes. Na, so it's it's a test of knowledge. It's, it's a, test a test of, of your uh, mental uh, ability. Yeah. Yeah. So, एक बहुत ही you know important yeah. question mind में click कर रहा है वो discuss करते हैं हम लोग कि ध्रुव ने इतनी मेहनत की साल भर and he got all India rank five yeah. तो what was the driving factor for ध्रुव क्यों आप single digit rank लाना चाहते थे कहाँ आप अपने आप को देखना चाहते हो आने वाले time में okay uh, I would say uh, first time I heard the name of IIT in my 10th standard so from that that time onwards I I wanted to pursue my uh, higher education in uh, IITs. 
and the prestigious institute of india so actually it was my dream to pursue my education from that and so it uh, came from 10th standard only but unfortunately i wasn't able to pursue my bachelor's there so i had one more opportunity in my uh, for pursuing my masters through the institutions so yeah that was the driving force i would say that i uh, that motivated me for giving the gate exam and the great right so that's what you know something is there in the mind and you should always work hard to achieve it rukna nahi hai you know maybe you yeah. didn't get it during bachelor's time but now yeah. you're going to yeah. have it definitely during your master's times maybe iisc maybe iit bombay whatever okay. your you know yeah. final dream may be yeah. right so uh, consistency kaise maintain ki aur ek bahut important question you know kya aapne daily throughout the year did you study 16 hours a day uh i wouldn't say i i i i was studying for 16 hours a day that is that is actually a very 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 large amount of time i i i know that actually matlab ye mera puchne ka intent ye tha now after asking the question i should have read that many students you know they fear about this exam they have that perception ki yaar gate matlab daily 16 17 ghante padhna hai uh, but but no, i think no. dhruv did not do it i did not do it no but we are both we got single digit trying so uh, actually on an average kitna lagta hai kitna ghante aapne diya hoga uh, i would say uh, 10 hours average 10 hours uh, that would uh, i would uh, that would land you a single digit rank i yeah. would say uh, average 10 hours for a year is that would land yeah and that is, guys as the average sometimes it may be zero or one hours also yeah. due to uncertain situations yeah. so don't curse yourself yeah. right sometimes you can you know maybe maybe make it 12 13 so automatically balance out ho jata yeah. hai okay. chalo great great to know so dhruv uh, you know uh, summarizing all your journey aapne you know bahut mehnat ki to aapke hisab se अगर एक एस्पेरेंट जो गेट 2024 या 2025 की प्रिपरेशन करने वाला है yes. तो क्या दो या तीन सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट चीजें होंगी जो आप अपनी तरफ से एडवाइस देना चाहोगे ओके आई वुड से स्टार्ट विथ एम्पल अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम आई वुड से फॉर अ ईयर इफ यू आर नॉट श्योर देन यू कैन टेक अ ड्रॉप फॉर अ ईयर फॉर अ ईयर इट्स फाइन लाइक इट अ ईयर इज इनफ आई वुड से सो फॉर फर्स्ट सेवन टू एट मंथ्स ट्राई टू प्रिपेयर अ बेज योर नोट्स एंड रिवाइज दैम ऑल and after you are prepared with thoroughly with your notes uh, you should start giving your test series in last 3 uh, to 4 months so yeah uh, i would say uh, and with uh, along with the test series revise only those concepts that you think you have forgotten always try to analyze your paper after giving a paper you should always try to analyze your paper and revise only those concepts that you think you have forgotten don't go behind uh, revising all the subjects for uh, in the last uh, in the, in your last end time preparation so that would actually eat up a lot of time and uh, i would say gather as many mistakes as possible because uh, whenever you uh, do a mistake in your test series i would say you should be happy because actually at the end that mistake is going to make one mark uh, increase your one mark in the gate examination if that type of question uh, did occur in the gate examination so yeah i would say gather as many mistakes as possible gather as many failures as possible till you reach the exam so yeah great words of motivation drup so grove uh, you know thank you once again for joining the byju exam sir. prep spotlight and you know big congratulations again from thank the you. entire team of byju exam prep and uh, at the end i would just like you to mention ki you know how much of the role byju exam prep played for this journey uh, i would say sir it has helped me a lot uh, uh, i i have uh, i have gone through many videos tutorials uh, from from the courses uh, that are offered by the byju uh, i would say it has helped me a lot in understanding some basic concepts when i was uh, not able to get uh, uh, a clear understanding of it so and i also uh, sometimes uh, uh, went through some of the uh, questions and test series about uh, about uh, for for it and uh, i think it helped me a lot uh, for uh, for preparing for the gate so great great to know dhruv uh, so guys this was the byju's exam prep spotlight and this spotlight you have listened to the success story of mr dhruv how he took the drop but worked with full dedication day and night and succeeded in succeeded in getting all india rank 5 in a highly competitive gate examination in the computer science and engineering and we just hope and we full wishes uh, for dhruv that he might be getting the best masters opportunity and he would yeah. be single digit rank he would be whatever he wants okay guys so uh, thank you for watching the byju's exam prep spotlight this is rakesh alraja signing off see you in another session bye bye thank you stay safe and take care of yourself